government struggles to raise funds for teacher salaries and other demands, some stakeholders in the tourism sector have found a way of raising funds for themselves. The All Pejeta Conservancy, and that's in like UPA, has resorted to constructing houses, and they're doing this right at the edge of the game park, where money received from the Mount Kenya Housing Project will then go into conservation. And as Karen Derry reports, the owners of the houses will also enjoy a breathtaking view of the snow-capped magnificent Mount Kenya and, of course, the Abadeh Ranges. Fancy a home on the periphery of a game park where the view from your balcony is that of a wildlife watering hole with the Abadeas ranges and the breathtaking Mount Kenya in sight. Well, you can have all these at the Old Pejeta Conservancy in Laikipia. The Mount Kenya Wildlife Estate is a housing project initiated by Old Pejeta as a means to raise funds for conservation at the park instead of solely relying on the government for funds which already has too much on its plate and is struggling to juggle the demands. For 29 to 34 million shillings, one can grab a house and enjoy the serenity of a game park away from the hassle and bustle that accompany the rigors of a city. The planned 100 houses on the edge of the 90,000 acre All Pejeta Conservancy will be used to raise funds for conservation. Poaching has become a real threat to sustenance of wildlife and animals such as the black rhino and elephants cost a little more to take care of because of security measures that need to be implemented at the park. Wildlife has the potential, particularly in the semi-arid areas, to be a significant, um, a significant resource that can be used for economic development. The conservancy requires quite a huge amount of money to keep it running and though 70% of its earnings come from tourism, there is need to set up a reserve fund as well as generate means of acquiring extra finances. It costs us um, approximately five million, five and a half million dollars a year to run Old Pejeta. So far, 54 of the 100 housing units have been purchased and we could not help but wonder if this will hamper the conservation in any way as the human-wildlife conflict has become a real headache. Mount Kenya Wildlife Estate is not, is not within the conservation area of Old Pejeta. It's on the periphery, okay? Um, and it's in an area which has never been part of the Old Pejeta Conservancy but is right next to the Old Pejeta Conservancy. So well, tourism is a major foreign exchange earner for Kenya and as it is, conservancies and game parks have to find ways and means of generating an extra income instead of mainly relying on the government for funding and this will definitely assist Kenya's economy to flourish. Carol Derry for KTN at the Old Pejeta Conservancy in Laikipia.